Welcome to part two of the behind the scenes of the Coco music video. This is General J, who is the music video director, and he's being accompanied by the rest of the technical team. There's a there's a hold over there. This guy the camera. Jay, there's a hold over there. You don't hold that. You don't hold that. You don't talk to me. Don't hold your vlogging. It's not a vlog. It's behind the scenes, dude. I don't. I don't. Dude, get it right. Get it right. Okay, I'll get it right. Actually, it's a behind the scenes film. It's not even a vlog. Film. Nah. Like behind the scenes. No worry. Now have your blockers. Oh, your phone is small. Your phone is small. Your phone is small. Your phone is small. Stop taking shots at me. Ah. You will notice that the video director did not want us to take behind the scenes footages. I have shot over a dozen music videos as an independent artist, and this was my first time experiencing this. I learned that when you're working towards an important project, you are bound to experience some obstacles along the way, and it's important to press on and not let those obstacles get in your way or discourage you. What I'm about to show you is an edited version of what actually happened on set, and I must confess that I nearly walked away. I'm glad I chose not to walk away, though, because today I find myself collaborating with a remarkable brand, Santa Barbara Chocolate, known for using cocoa as its primary raw material. I'm not comfortable with this. I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it. Like, you're not letting me... You're the only video I've shot that I've allowed this. I, honestly, the only person I've allowed Jay, this. Jay. I don't like it. Jay, listen. I, if I'm paying you to do something, no, no, listen to me, listen no, to me. No, no, no. I'm not... No. Jo all jokes apart. Listen all to me. Too. Listen. I'm not comfortable with it. You're you are getting my face and I don't like it. Honestly. Don't, don't let us get at this. Don't let us get at this. You're not okay. gonna like it. I feel I feel you should do it, but don't call me. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Listen, Let's he who it. pays the piper dictates I the tune. Take the video. Take it. My feel now you the more you tell me. Like what the fuck no, is he doing? Easy, easy. I beg you. Pull down. Just take it. Okay, just take it. He should, not, he should no, not be doing no, that. No, no. I understand what you mean now. Who the fuck is he? No, let me take the video for you. Let me take the video for you. All right. Eventually, everyone calmed down and we were able to continue with the production. What the director didn't realize at the time is that in a world where streaming services don't generate revenue for independent artists, creators such as myself need to look into other ways to monetize our music. For instance, Spotify pays $4 per 1,000 streams. That's not enough to pay for one item from my wardrobe, let alone hiring a production crew or the traveling costs associated with traveling to Ghana to shoot this video. The beauty of brands sponsoring creators and musicians is that the collaboration between them often go beyond just financial support. In many cases, brands actively engage in creative partnership which allows creators and musicians to have significant impact on the messaging of the sponsor's product, such as this behind the scenes video. This not only benefits the brand by associating their products with a notable influential figure, but also allows creators to continue to express their creativity in a new way and in a unique way. If you ask me, it's a fascinating intersection of art and commerce and showcasing how brands and creators can come together to create something truly special. 
A big shout out to Santa Barbara Chocolate for sponsoring this behind the scenes documentary. So far, it has been a beautiful fusion of cocoa inspired harmonies where music meets sweetness indulgence of chocolate. <laughs>